Hi everybody, it's Jordan and Victoria. We are going around Salem. We've done some really exciting things so far. I cannot wait to share everything. But right now, we are well, in listen, line. We, not everything, we can't do video inside. Right, we can't do video inside. So we we're we can't, I'm gonna show you. We're about to experience the Salem Witch Museum. So, I'm not scared normally. Victoria hates scary things. I don't like scary things. So this should be really funny. I'm in a haunted room. Isn't it? We're, yeah, our, so we're at the Hawthorne Hotel and it's a haunted hotel and we are in a haunted room. But it's a good spirit. It's not a bad spirit. It's a good spirit. Yeah, we still, if you can't tell, haven't slept since Comic Con. So, professionals. Of course, they have all the Harry Potter stuff in the Salem gift shop. Trying to. I think you're holding it upside down. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're doing good. Oh, is there a crystal at the end of it? Let me see. It's a crystal. I like the dark crystal. Awesome. I think I need all these things for like my house. Hey everybody, it's Jordan. We are live in Salem. And we are at, we're going to Why Not Makers of Fine Wines. Wands. Because, wands, uh, why wands. not? Not wines, wands. Because why not? And then we're also going to check out this awesome store called Remember Salem. They have a lot of great merchandise in there, and I'll show you why. Let's go inside. Come on Come inside. On <laughs> little boat truckle. I just like put it in my pocket and be like meets commander. Okay, yeah. So again, butter beer. Okay, ready? Should we get one and try it? I don't know. It's not alcoholic. It's not alcoholic. We're gonna drink a lot of butter beer this weekend. I'd rather save for the alcohol. <laughs> I keep seeing everybody have these. Who makes these? Ooh, they have the new illustrated Goblet of Fire book. It just came out. It's so amazing. Look at this. These illustrations. Okay, so we just went to the Salem Boarding Shop. Oh my God, I'm going to a store that I was told I have to go into. It's called Why Not's Wand Shop. That's what we say. It's Why Not's Wand Shop. I cannot wait. Oh my God. It looks amazing. Thank you. What? Find a wand? Flick. Swish and flick. What kind of wand did you find? It's red. It's red, of course. This looks just like Ollivander's. Jordan, what are you doing? I am at Why Not's Wand Shop, where they make homemade, handmade wands down in the basement, right in Salem, Massachusetts. Pretty cool? It's pretty cool. I'm really enjoying this. I'm trying to really be careful, but I want to buy everything. Mm. Which ones are you eyeing? Which ones am I eyeing? They're these really awesome red wands. I think are really cool and I love it they're I just love it they're handmade it's totally different from anywhere else you buy them because like they have their own branding with like the W's and stuff or why not it's like the same experience but what I imagine American wizards and witches who live in the United States and go to school here would feel um but yeah it'd be very cool to see the experience of what happened here. but yeah I mean I love like these rustic wood ones too they have like uh -huh. all different sizes and just a squish and flick.
so we are off to go back to Witch Picks and check it out because our photos are ready and we're also going to go back to the store we've got our psychic readings done this morning we got tarot readings done and then we have a Salem walk and which walk which what we which walk I was gonna which say walk which we, walk which walk are we going which on which walk are we going on it's a witch walk it's a witch walk we're gonna um, go which way and what way we're gonna go up and down all around I also want to go in all the shops and see if we can find anything cool. And I'm really rocking this Horcrux bag right now. Thank you, Danielle Nicole Bags, for letting me rock this bag during the Yukon. You're working your Gryffindor bag. We'll show. Go to the front and that's door. my top. Okay. All right. Lost was, I lost the, the second top to my tea. Tea this top. This is like our fifth cup of tea. So historic. I love how festive it is here all the time. All the time. We should do this Peabody, I see the garden walkway. Peabody. 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 It's like we're hitting Peabody. Peabody. We're learning all the ways people say things here. Massachusetts. It's October 10th. It's my birthday and I am kicking off the evening by going to Witch Picks. I'm really excited about this. I've heard a lot about this place. Basically, you get to dress up as a witch and take some awesome photos. Uh, I can't wait. I love dressing up as a witch. I mean, it's like my inner soul anyway. So let's get started. I'm going to take you inside. Let's head on inside. Oh my God, hello. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. How are you doing today? I am absolutely wonderful. Excellent. So what what do we do to get started here? All right. So we are gonna start off with... We come over to the dressing area. Uh-huh. Where I will be the one dressing you today. Okay. And all our personal belongings and extra layers are gonna go into this bin. Mm -hmm. After I would get a name for the party. Can I just compliment all your millennial pink right now? It's my favorite color. Thank you. Pink is my favorite color. Oh my God, they're friends. They're toast besties. <laughs> we're best we're best they're besties. Okay. okay, great. Okay, great. All right, so can I have a name for the party? Jordan. Jordan. J-O-R-D-A-N. And then a last initial. G. For Gryffindor. <laughs> and then both of us getting dressed? Yes, we're both getting dressed. Both getting dressed. Both Who's getting... this other person? I don't know. Who is she? I have it's no idea. idea. We? <laughs> it's me. Just kidding. Cool. All right, so we're going to pick out capes first. Cool. Do we have favorite colors? Red. Red. Okay. I like, like a deep red. A deep red? Yes. I'm going to say this guy. We're going to go with this guy? Yes. I'm going to that fancy ass jacket. I do like that jacket. Thank you. Oh, three people. Oh. So she's feeling herself. What are we wearing? What color are we wearing I'm today? Myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I like burgundy. I, so. I also like roses. I'm going to go with this. I love that. How very Belle of you. I know. Belle at the ball. This it's is new Belle's winter. Day. And a bit alarming. <laughs> oh, is it now? Okay, so now we are going to pull dresses. Great. That are going to coordinate with said cake. So this is more like just off the shoulder, while this is the plunging neckline that we all know her to be famous for. Do you want to go with plunging neckline? Go with plunging neckline. What should I do? No, tell me, I can't hear you. Plunging neckline. Plunging, was it plunging neckline? Oh, plunge it, girl. Plunge it. All the way down. Just dive right in. Yeah, embrace that. Right there. So we're going with plunging Morticia? We're going to do plunging Morticia. I love that. Mm -hmm. Now it's your turn. Well, Victim I number go two. plunging, but my tank top is very high collar, so. So do you want to go higher collar? I think we're going to have to because that's my tank top. 
I would, I would, I would plunge it, but I wore the wrong tank top for this today. You're the worst. I can't take you anywhere. So, this is one of my favorite dresses that we have. Okay. This was the Alex dress last year. Oh. Um, it plays off of the cape mm -hmm. while being slightly different burgundies. Okay. And we have a little sparkle in the lining. Okay. How do you feel about it? I feel good. Do we, I just want to see another option to know I have options. Absolutely. I like options. Such a diva. No, no. I just want to make sure I, I have choices. So, just give me a second. Don't say no right away. Okay. I promise I have tricks up my sleeve. Okay. Ooh. What is this? I don't know, but I like it. I, <laughs> I love bodices. Making this dress a little more witchy by covering up some of the already very apparent sparkle. Yes. And then I like to, with the little sparkle left, I like to say that it's more magic oh. than like the beads. Because this says beads, this says magic. I love it. I think I'm gonna go with the second one. We're gonna go with the second one? Oh, we're gonna go with the second one. All right. All right. So this is one that mm -hmm. if you want, you if you don't want your thing to show, uh -huh. your tank top. Oh, tank top, thank you. It's I know clothes. You do? <laughs> um, so I can have someone follow you to the bathroom so you can take off your shirt, put this on, and then... With, oh, I didn't even know that was an back. option. Because I could do a plunge line if I could take off my tank top. Oh, yeah. Did you want... Let's see. Do you want to see a plunge? If we let's let's see. Do you want, are you also going to plunge? I might plunge now. Okay. So, hmm. if you wanted to go a little sexier, which... Boom. Okay, boom. So they open in the back. Okay. Then you walk right into them. And then we tie you up and tie it as tight as you want. As right. tight as you want, Victoria. I like it. <laughs> I like it, I'm, I'm there. Let's do it. So, do you wanna go to the bathroom and change? Or, I mean, I've, I mean, I've, where it's black, Yes. you can have it under this because that yeah. would be time It'll appropriate. Work. I'm gonna put it over. Absolutely. Cool. So. What is going to happen with this dress is it is your arms are going to go in and it's going to go over your head. Fantastic. Because I'm of gonna the have winged sleeves. I'm gonna be like a bat girl. Okay, I'm ready. Right on in. Dracula's bride. Dracula's bride. Dracula blood. Okay, I drink cool. blood. I'm just gonna tighten the waist for you. Cinch it up. Cool. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Da, Fix darling, the dick da. Let's just stay here for three days. Do oh, it. sure, that would be great for our media yeah, reputation. So good. Ah, oh, these people that did not show up. Hey, you can just live in the closet. That's right. <laughs> no, I thought. Clothes. No, no, no. Yeah. This is 2019, almost 20. We come out of the closet, yeah, dear. You're missing my winged massiveness. I'm, <laughs> like I'm recording it. I feel like Stevie next. All right, and for you, I am going to pick the hat that plays off of the velvet cape. Oh, it's got a bedazzle on it. And it also has this train of oh. tulip on the back. So, so when it flies in the wind. Oh, yeah. It's a great accessory. <coughs> I love it. That's what I like to hear. I know. I was waiting for that response. Oh, sorry, sorry. I just had to take it in first. Well, as long as you love it, that's all I that do matters. love it. Thank you. No problem. So we're getting our photos done now? Absolutely. Look at okay. we're getting photos done. Okay, so I feel like we're in a Stevie Nicks Aerosmith cover band. From the 90s. From the 90s. I mm -hmm. feel very nice. Very craft. Yeah. I'm very, ready for this. I'm ready. Okay, we're going to get our photos get done. Photos. And Let's we will see you soon. So, okay, so what are we doing now? I'm pulling up your photos to show you all your different uh, yeah. pictures. So, total, find the shoots. Find the shoots. Find the shoots. So, Jordan. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Jordan Galba. Miss Galba. Miss Galba. 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 So, there's 152. Okay, there's 152 images with the filters I added. What filters are they? There, we'll show you. So, you have, you have your classic color photo to start off. Then there's a black and white filter. Oh, and enhanced color filter. 
and then the sepia. Okay. And the sepia. It's kind of like, it's kind of like with Gravazzi. Okay, let's look at these photos. I can't wait to see these. I think we were having way too much fun. Um, I've heard towards the end we're pretty sassy. We're super sassy, but we're sassy in general. I like to see, we're gonna unfold. All right, well, we're not gonna post all of them. Well, we're just we gonna, we're gonna go through our, fa yeah, thank you. Some of our favorites. All right. Um, I just wanna say a big thank you to Witch Picks for letting us come in today and shoot some amazing pictures. They, we are obsessed, like, hashtag witches for life. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag, hashtag. hashtag. <laughs> um, yeah, if you wanna find more about Witch Picks, we'll put all the information down below. They are great, they've been so nice, and this is the best time of year, it's October, so come hang out. Hi everybody, we are here at Omen, which is a psychic parlor and witchcraft emporium, and they have generously offered to give us a tarot card reading. So I'm gonna give a birthday tarot card reading, let's go inside. All right, let's do this. Let's do it. birthday before so this should be very interesting uh yeah i can't remember what they're gonna say i'm always a little nervous but you never know and each tarot card reader everyone who has their own deck of cards and they always they interpret the cards so i look forward to seeing just that with this reading <laughs> It's a witch night tour. We're going on a Salem walking tour. It's very yeah, it's dark. All, yeah, it's very dark. It's meant to be very spooky, yeah. Spooky, super spooky. So I need you to hold my clothes because I scare really easily. Okay. Very easily. Oh, we're stopping, we're stopping. Stopping. All right, we're going to show you what we're doing. All right, so hello. I am obviously your tour guide. This is not working, so I'm going to hold it. Uh, my name is David. Uh, Hi, David. Hi. Hi. Or as they tend to be at most 25% haunted stories and then 75% history. And I assure you, if you're expecting haunted stories, you will still not be disappointed. I also like to tell people that sometimes the historical um, fact, factual stories require more imagination and sometimes are even a little bit creepier. So when Roger Conant and the Puritans came and tried to resettle here, they quickly ousted the Native American tribe that occupied the land, which is of course what we used to do. And he and his friend were trying to decide on a name for that small settlement. They couldn't agree. So they finally agreed on the word for peace in Arabic and Hebrew, Shalom and Salem. That's where the name Salem comes from. Are you ready? I'm ready. You sure? Uh, you know, I don't know yet, but you know what I'm really excited about? Food. Hot toddies. <laughs> Hot toddies. And wings. Here we go. Here we go. We're starting. When someone was on trial for their life on the stand, and whatever that person was doing, whether it was wailing and crying and professing their innocence, all of these young women in unison would be mimicking what that person was doing. If that person on the stand so much as itched their nose, all the girls in unison would do the same thing. And the person on the stand was likely somebody that they had accused. So the judge would see these girls doing what the person on the stand was doing and address it and ask them what's going on. And they would simply reply with, we can't help it. 
She's making us do this. I said an hour and 15 minutes. I'll stop here to give you some idea of the general geography of Salem. Uh, where we are standing now, this is Front Street. See the sign? That's Front Street. Front Street has always been some kind of a road, and it's always been called Front Street. During the time of the witchcraft trials, this was a dirt road two rods wide. The horse and carriage passed. The reason that it's named Front Street is because at one point this was on the waterfront. Before this building ever existed, on all of this land that we're standing on, that you see that Walgreens back there? That was the South River. That was a river at one point. But now it's Derby Street. And behind this building, which we're gonna walk up in a moment, is Derby Square. about the restaurant Turner's, this is about the building that Turner's is in. The building that it's in is called the Lyceum building, L-Y-C-I-U-M. This building is most famous uh, for being the building where Alexander Graham Bell made the first public demonstration of the long distance phone call. He called from Salem to Boston. It was big news in April of 1877 on the Boston Globe. Oh, phone calls, phone calls. Alexander uh, Graham Bell, lived in Salem for a brief period, for a few years. He's not from here, but this is where he lived when he got the patent for the telephone. Stop yelling, please. <laughs> now, notice how I said he got the patent for the telephone? Because he did not invent the telephone. He just got the patent. He basically stole the patent from somebody else before that person, within hours. That's why it's called the Bell Telephone Company, not the What's His Face Telephone Company. <laughs> but this is the building where he made that long distance phone call demonstration. Now when he was setting this whole thing up, he had technicians helping him out. Two of those technicians helping him out inside this building that same week were electrocuted to death inside here. Where these people are enjoying their nice seafood dinner, two men died. <laughs> they have no idea. Now, there, like I said, there's a saying about this building, if your server doesn't have a story, ask the bartender. There's a lot of paranormal activity here. Hi everybody, good morning. I'm still recovering from Comic-Con and um, I'm in my awesome hotel room at the Hawthorne Hotel. I have my shower running because I need to inhale lots of hot air right now, um, hot steam. But yeah, I'm in the Hawthorne Hotel. You can see, hi, there's my mess. Oh yeah, there's my free wine that they gave me because they've been so nice here. Um, this is one of the coolest hotels in Salem. I love the decor, everything is gray with Florida leaves. Uh, but yeah, apparently this hotel is haunted and this particular room is haunted <laughs> so we have cool rooms they're adjoining through the bathroom so we can bond through the bathroom and my door closes because my room is the one that's actually haunted hey. hi so we're getting ready we're on our way to leaky con i'm sorry if the shower is annoying sound but i need this room to get very hot i'm losing my voice Apparently this awesome person that haunts this room from our ghost tour last night, we learned that they like to scare through mirrors. So forgive my Harry Potter pajamas because what else would I be wearing? But I'm going to show you some of the uh, mirrors. Yep, Harry Potter pants from Primark. So there's one mirror. There's another mirror in the bathroom. And then there's a mirror in the shower. But literally all night, I was like, I'm gonna hide under the covers because who knows, but let's just take a moment to appreciate the thank you Hawthorne Hotel for giving us some awesome Cabernet Sauvignon. We're gonna take this on the road trip to Boston. All right, well, we're off to go. I gotta look like a normal person and I will see you guys later.